you can buy a $50 six megapixel CCD camera, stick a beautiful Nikon VR lens on it and take amazing, wonderful images. So, a really good opportunity to test this, the Fuji S2 Pro. Now this bad boy is a CCD, awesome, old school digital camera. Now the S2 Pro is a Fuji camera. It's the fine picks. It's based on, in fact, the Nikon N80, which is a very old school SLR 35 mil camera. This particular beautiful, CCD, LCD screen, 6.2-ish megapixel, wonderful SLR, DSLR camera, was released early 2000s, and it feels 100% like an early 2000s camera. Now, I have just moved all the way from Columbus, Ohio, to here, Los Angeles. This is like my first week here. You can see nothing's organized, so I'm going to use this opportunity to take some beautiful pictures with a 6.2 CCD beautiful camera. What do I love about it? Why am I using it? It has a F mount lens. So that is one of my old school 90s Nikon AF autofocus lenses. It has the screw so it can operate these and autofocus. It has 6.2 megapixel CCD sensor which means the images are beautiful direct out of camera. Let's use it. Let's do some work around the house and we'll do a quick review. Check it out. Yes, another CCD powerhouse from back in the day. Now this, the Fujifilm Finepix S2 Pro. There have been many reviews of this camera on YouTube, but more so in writing on the internet because it came out in 2002. Back then, people weren't doing reviews on these cameras as much, but let me tell you guys, you know me, you know from my channel that I'm a huge fan of Nikon, Nikon, however you want to pronounce it, I call it Nikon. Now this, the S2 Pro, the Finepix S2 Pro, is actually based on a film camera developed by Nikon, the N80. And I did a previous video on the N80, I took it to Michigan with me, a great little film camera to use, autofocus, wonderful 35 mil, F-mount lenses, Nikon camera. All Fuji did was build upon that base, the N80. They added this battery pack on the bottom, which contains AA batteries. You know I love AA batteries. And then they created this 6.2, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, megapixel CCD film light sensor camera. Why am I showing you this camera? You guys, you know that the winning camera of my 2013 end of year competition went to this. My favorite camera of the year was my Fuji X-T10. Now the X-T10 and a bunch of its brothers and sisters and cousins have just taken, have just taken the photography game by storm. The 
recipes they put into these cameras are just beautiful. Film like wonderful, excellent camera. I wanted to know about the pedigree of Fuji. Where did it come from? Why did it do so well? How did it take the market by storm? So in order to know that, one must know the history of these things. And this, the 2002 S2 Pro, is one of the, or was, one of the entries into the DSLR realm for Fujifilm, for Fine Picks. For Nikon D2HS, which I take with me if I'm going to an area where people are moving really fast, eight frames a second. This camera was pushed towards wildlife photography and sports photographers. It is a professional grade camera from back then. Beautiful, and I love it. The Fujifilm S2 Pro kind of feels the same. Now, the sensor in the D2HS is 4.2 megapixel, I believe. So the sensor in this S2 Pro is a little bigger, six megapixels-ish. Now. If you want to liken it to any other cameras, you can go ahead and consider it to be pretty similar to the Nikon D100, the Nikon D100, very, very similar. When you use this camera, it's relatively slow to get to work. Boom, you take a picture, it buffers, it takes a little second. It takes a second to save the images, but the images that came out of the sensor, the images that I get from this camera are wonderful. So let's have a closer look then. It's an APS-C CCD crop sensor, six megapixels. It can shoot a burst rate of seven shots or two frames a second, which is pretty slow. The DR stops are 7.2 on 12 bit. Uh, the sync speed is one over 125th. Has five focus points, you guys, which was great for back then. No video and the ISO range from 100 up to 1600. Although, you know, <laughs> After 400, it does tend to get a little grainy, which I love. I don't mind. Dynamic range is pretty bad, but who cares? You still get to shoot a dope camera from back then with a CCD sensor. Two types of memory. So two types of memory for the FinePix Fuji S2. Uh, it takes smart media cards, which are pretty obsolete these days. I use a lot of those for my Camedia, the Olympus Camedias, and also CF cards. So the CF card situation, you guys, I tend to use the smaller megapixel CF cards, okay? This is one gig. I use like one gig, two gigs. It gives me a couple of hundred shots. I don't really need any more. I upload the images when I'm done, and then I format the card. Now, one of my favorite things about this camera is its ability to rock my world by using AA batteries. You guys, the fact that it uses AA batteries means that you can now take this on vacation Another two batteries in there, so six in total. Take it on vacation, capture beautiful images of your family and friends, and if the batteries run out, boom, just go to your local store, get some new AA batteries, you're laughing. Take a bunch of one, two gig CF cards in a waterproof case, you're laughing. Lens-wise, you guys, this beautiful Fuji camera was smart enough to use the N80 body, which means I can use, you guessed it, my beautiful Nikon retro vintage lenses. Not only that, you guys, let me zoom and focus into that focusing ring. Can you see in the bottom right-hand corner, oh my goodness, that tiny little screw back there, that screw means I can use this old Nikon vintage beautiful camera lens. This relatively modern, by all aspects, VR Beautiful inbuilt motor lens from Nikon as well. You guys, you know the scores. It's not about the camera body, it's about the lens. And it's not about the lens, it's about your composition and abilities as a photographer. And the way that you increase those beautiful images is just by getting out there and taking more pictures. But this S2 Pro takes the F-mount lenses, which means you can buy a camera for 50 bucks. You guys, right now, eBay, $50 for this camera. You don't need a special battery pack. You can buy a $50, six megapixel CCD camera, stick a beautiful Nikon VR lens on it and take amazing, wonderful images. So a beautiful example of a very attainable, inexpensive Fujifilm FinePix S2 Pro. The digital camera FinePix S2 Pro. 
Now look, Nikon F mount, beautiful. And if you look at this little red box, super CCD. Focusing mode switch is down here. Lens release, depth of field preview. That beautiful red strip that lets us know it's Nikon. Again, at the front, all of these familiar wheels. Change my f-stop here. Looking at the top, look at this. You guys, we have a hot shoe for that beautiful flash photography. Manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, program. Aperture priority, and we can see, we can adjust our f-stop with the front wheel. And then we're in shutter priority, we adjust the shutter speed with our rear wheel. Nothing new here, you guys. But let's look at the back of this beautiful beast. Now we have this display window here, which is gonna show us date time, ISO. These can be adjusted using these buttons here, the function buttons. But also we have a playback mode there. Beautiful little 1.7 inch LCD. And then I love these little doors that shows us where our cards are. And then again, type two CF card, Google the type twos in Amazon and make sure you buy a type two. And then smart media card goes at the top to release, just push and eject. Nothing too crazy in the menu, bunch of other reviews on this, but everything you could ever wish for in a 2002 camera is gonna be on there. So there we have it. The Fuji FinePix S2 Pro, points to note. I went ahead and put this beautiful shutter button on there. Last but not least, a pop-up flash. Could we ask for more? Beautiful. So there you have it, you guys. Another beautiful CCD powerhouse. The S2 Pro can be purchased on eBay, KEH, MPB, Facebook Marketplace, at your friend's house, in the garage, for less than 50 bucks. If you're lucky, this one here, this personal one that I've got, which I'm probably never gonna sell, cost me $20 from Goodwill. That was just a lucky find, you guys. Lucky thrift find. If you want an F-mount camera, if you want a DSLR with a CCD sensor from the early 2000s that produces film-like images, and you don't have the money to buy something more high-end, I would suggest the Fuji FinePix S2 Pro. Is it the best camera for the money? Is it better than the Nikon D100? Very, very similar. It's a little heavier. I prefer the grip on the S2 Pro. I prefer the feel of the S2 Pro. It reminds me of my D2HS, my D1X, and my more professional DSLR Nikon cameras. Thanks for stopping by on another camera review. I'll see you on the next one. Get out there, shoot more images, get out there shoot more images, take more beautiful pictures, practice with your digital cameras, with these CCD cameras, and then when you feel good with the uh, triangle of exposure, sunny 16 rule, you can practice on fully manual mode on these cameras, it's gonna cost you nothing, and then go out and get a film camera, get you some Portra 400, get you some Portra 160 in the sunshine, and go and shoot those beautiful grainy film-like images. I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.